Kind of a nice summer day on the way for us. A combination of mostly sunny skies, low humidity and temperatures that are running near normal upper 70s to lower 80s. You can see the sun glimmering off the water here in North Kingstown. Beautiful morning down in Newport Harbor as well. And our three key things leading it off just with a very pleasant day ahead. A warm weekend, but unlike last weekend, we're not talking about a scorcher. There is no heat warnings out. The temperatures will be running just a few degrees warmer than normal and the humidity will start to creep up next week. We'll hold on to dry weather looks like into next uh, Tuesday and then bring in a chance of showers by next Wednesday out on our radar right now. There are some showers offshore looking in close to uh, Gillette Stadium. If you're up at training camp in Foxborough, very pleasant morning for that. Let's widen the view back out and show you where the cloud cover that came through during the late night hours has now been exiting off the eastern part of Massachusetts. Cape and Islands going to be brightening up here shortly. High pressure is in control, not just here, but all across the eastern United States with that front offshore. We've had a very comfortable morning. In fact, places like Charleston, South Carolina, with a record tying low temperature of 68 degrees. Now we fell into the low and mid 60s, even had some upper 50s in southern New England, but it's not unusual for us to see those numbers. Right now we're back to 73 degrees in Smithfield, Cumberland's at 67, and the temperatures in westerly have climbed back up close to 70 degrees. That's where we are in Tiverton. The dew points for 50s to low 60s. So through the rest of the morning, we're going to see those temperatures climbing through the 70s, almost 80 by the end of the 10 o'clock hour in the afternoon, lower 80 Smithfield and Providence, about 80 in New Bedford, upper 70s. Newport will be in the 70s on Block Island. Beautiful day there. And we're in the mid to upper 70s as late as 7 o'clock in the evening in our inland communities, cooling to the lower 70s. Another night where you'll be able to get some fresh air in the house. The temperatures will cool back into the upper 50s to lower 60s by 7 a.m. The temperatures are already back on the rise into the 60s to near 70. Great beach day. We've got a low risk for rip currents, safe sun time, low because of the high UV index and all that sun. So definitely a lot of sunscreen needed on the bay this afternoon. Just some fair weather clouds developing. North winds will turn to the south at about five knots. Low tide about an hour and a half ago and a high tide 230 in the afternoon. A chance of showers, as I mentioned, low over the next couple of days. And that little bump that you see uh, early next week on Monday, it's in response to just that heat and humidity building and a, a front will be approaching our area by next Wednesday, and that's when I had our best shot of a shower or thunderstorm. The temperatures mentioned trending warmer by tomorrow. We're into the middle 80s. That happens another day under mostly sunny skies, looking quiet for any Friday night plans you may have falling from the 80s back into the 70s. Saturday's high near 85 degrees, and again, the humidity is still not bad on Saturday, so that afternoon heat index much lower than it was over the weekend when we were tracking last weekend that heat index of up to 110. On Sunday, mid 80s inland beaches this weekend, right around 80 degrees. Governor's Bay Day happening Sunday, so you get that free parking at state beaches. It's looking good for that. We'll be up near 90 by Monday and Tuesday. You'll be wanting to find your way to the beach or the pool. The full forecast on WPRI.